take it you're the ones appointed by Elder Talapo? Yep, and you are... Call me Toltec. The chief asked me to be your guide for the day. His messengers already filled me in on the situation. So just follow me. This is as far as I can take you. Only the appointed ones may proceed from here. Uh, why is that? Kind of a long story. Apparently, there's a certain fruit that grows in this cave, the juice of which can be processed to make an excellent dye. Many years ago, our ancestors set out to make a series of ambitious works of graffiti art. They selected this cave to make them in, presumably due to the availability of the dye. However, they didn't want anyone to see their work before it was completed, and so they sealed off the entrance to control access. To bypass the seal, you have to have mastered the art of color perception, or something like that. Oh, right. The strange thing is, our ancestors never removed the seal even after they finished the graffiti art. Since it was sealed off, the only person who's been inside is the great shaman, Quitzilin, and that was 300 years ago. According to her, the artwork tells the story of a hero by the name of Kuntur. But I digress. Sorry, I'm a big fan of graffiti artwork. Once I get talking, I can go on for hours. So you're sure you don't want to come with us? I'll pass. I tried to get in once, but the seal blocked my way. I tried getting my Iktomi sword to clear it with its powers, but even that didn't work. I guess it's supposed to be a test left there by our ancestors. If you don't pass the test, you're not worthy of viewing their works of art. Aww. Don't worry about me, though. I wouldn't be joining you this time even if I was able to get in. Unlike our chief, I don't have the guts to challenge our traditions. This task is specifically appointed to someone by the Iktomisor Elder. Who knows what bad things might happen if I got involved? Fair enough. Alright, we'll try not to take too long. <laughs> Looks like there's no way past. Uh, maybe try the same thing as before?
This should be the place. That fruit Toltec mentioned should be the one on the wall, right? Now the only question is, which ones do we pick? Well, go ahead, try it out! Ancestors made some real works of art here. But based on what we've seen so far, it seems like there should be more to the story. Do you think maybe there's more artwork further inside? Seems kind of strange. Oh, no need. Paimon was just thinking aloud. Toltec's waiting for us and we have a job to do. So maybe it's best if we head out now. Let's head back and meet up with Toltec. Let's burn this breeze.
Sounds like you made it through the seal then. Arictomisaur Elder was right about you. It's getting late. Follow me, I'll take us back. Toltec has updated me on your progress. Well done. I appreciate your efforts. Sure thing! Here's the stuff for the day! I see. Yes. This is certainly a very different substance from typical dyes. Okay, now let's try our hand at making some samples. The fabric is ready for testing. Got it! Please come with me. Take a look at this. It's a woven scroll made by one of our ancestors. Ah, this is the kind of thing we're trying to make. Ooh. The person depicted is the legendary shaman, Huitzilin. She lived 200 years ago and was once appointed by the Iktomisor Elder, like yourselves. She was especially skilled in the art of color manipulation and of course completed her task with flying colors. This scroll is a record of her deeds, and was most likely the work of her own hand. The quality is simply breathtaking, even compared to other scrolls of this variety. Sadly, since she passed away, all of our Ectomisaur Elder's subsequent appointees have had to rely on the gift from the spirits to complete their work. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. My only quibble with your phrasing would be, it's not just me, but us. <laughs> now Paimon's getting excited. Bring out the samples. Now, as I mentioned, the dyeing process is a little complicated, but I am confident you will manage. Just make sure to follow my instructions carefully. The pattern has already been sketched out on the sample, so 
You just need to dye each block with the correct color. But you'll need to wait for the dye to fully soak in between each step to make sure the colors don't run. Ha ha ha! Good! The dye has taken to the fabric, and the pattern is crisp and clear. Next, apply all the remaining dye, and we should see that elusive signature color emerge. Okay, final step! Um, did it work? Karma doesn't see it! Oh, that color isn't showing up. Oh, the dying has failed. Uh, no, your technique was flawless. You did everything exactly as instructed. It would have made no difference if I'd done it myself. Then what went wrong? Hmm, it could be the weaving technique. Or maybe the dye has to be applied in a different way. Oh, whatever the case. It looks like I have failed to get to the bottom of this mystery. Sorry, Paimon wishes we could do more to help. I am the one who should be apologizing. I made you do so much work, and it was for nothing. I will, of course, honor my commitment to compensate you for your trouble, but... I do hope you won't give up on this task. I plan to keep investigating, and will be sure to keep you updated with any progress. Don't worry, we're not quitters. Paimon does have a question, though. The process of recording history on woven scrolls seems so complicated. Why don't you just write it down instead? You said yourself you're all about change and reform. Well, this seems like a pretty good place to start, don't you think? Writing things down would be easier for everyone and your records would be more detailed. I think you've perhaps misunderstood my philosophy, but that's okay. I can answer your question, but there's somewhere I need to show you first. Sure. This view. What do you think? It's gorgeous! Now, try looking a little further. Whoa, that graffiti! In all the years since the founding of our tribe, those colors have been with us every step of the way. It is true that I seek to bring new life to this ancient tribe through change and reform. But I also understand there are certain foundational things that we cannot afford to throw away. The foremost of these is the way we record our history. Oh, that makes sense. Since the very beginnings, our tribe has always sought to bring color to history. And I have a deep sense that this is one part of our heritage that we should not give up. So, whatever it takes, 
I must find a way for us to continue producing our traditional woven scrolls. You're completely right. Paimon's sorry for what she said earlier. It was out of line. Ah, uh, it's quite all right. I'm just grateful you're able to understand where I'm coming from. Hmm. Then let us hope that when we next meet, we succeed in reviving this tradition.